So in today's episode of crazy things that happen at work that probably shouldn't, it's James Butler and the case of the disappearing court date. Septic and plumbing by day, bell bondsman by night, these two jobs should never meet. But today, they did. So picture this, it's a regular day at the office, calls are coming in, appointments are being scheduled, it's going great, but all of a sudden we get a text from an employee who says, hey boss, sorry, I can't come into work today, I've got a court date. So I immediately ask, do you have a lawyer? He says no. Now any other boss would have probably said, all right, that's cool, go ahead and take the day. But remember, bell bondsman by night, which means I have a knack for finding out court dates. I also have a knack for knowing when I'm being lied to. So activate Sherlock Holmes mode. Now listen, I'm all for personal days. Everybody needs a break. But at my company, it's not the mistakes that will get you fired. It's the lies. Lies will get you fired. But hey, I'm not gonna get mad about it. I decided to have a little fun with it. So what I did is I texted him back. I was like, listen, you should never walk into a courtroom by yourself. That's lesson number one. Always have a lawyer. Go ahead and text me your courtroom number and I'll have our corporate attorney swing by, make sure you're taken care of. Now I'm not gonna share with you what came next, but I will tell you it was hilarious to see text message after text message backpedaling. And of course, I'm not gonna fire him over this, but I definitely was gonna have a little bit of fun with it. And I don't think he'll tell me that lie again. So the moral of the story is, if you're gonna try some workplace mischief, maybe pick a topic that your boss doesn't have superpowers in. Just saying.